The Well Control Institute recently met in New Orleans, and joining me is Chairman Mo Pazant. Mo, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. We're, uh, we're entering some exciting times in, in, in uh, the well control uh, part of our business. We see uh, that that is one of the mo most important areas uh, that we see coming through in the next few years, certainly. And uh, we met as a, the board of directors of the Well Control Institute, met on Tuesday of this week to approve going forward with the Well Control Institute and especially going putting it forward that it's going to be an independent board and it will come under the auspices of IEDC as a registered company in the state of Texas. IEDC will furnish the back office requirements and we're going ahead with uh, the Well Control Institute. Great, that's exciting news. Tell us a little bit more about the Well Control Institute. What makes it different and, or unique? Well, I think the key, one of the uniqueness of the Well Control Institute is the composition of its board. You know, we have had boards and projects where we've had contractors, operators, service companies, and manufacturers together in the past. But I don't think it's ever been brought to the, to the level that we're bringing it to, with the senior management people that are taking a very active interest in uh, in what we do. When you look at, we're having CEOs, COOs, uh, presidents, we're having senior VPs of both operators, contractors, and in service organizations. I think it, it really shows that we're committed as an industry to making sure that we can improve well control, we can improve it to our people, we have, to, we have to remember that, you know, we have a social license and that society really impacts how we proceed. And, you know, we're coming back from a rough time, a very rough period in our, in our history. We're coming back strong and we're coming back recognizing that we need to improve what we do. And I think having a board of the caliber that, we're, that we have today it makes us unique. We were approved also by the IEDC Executive Committee yesterday, and so we have full approval from, uh, from IEDC to, to get started on what we're, we're doing. We were issued, let's say we, myself and Steve Cropla, who's going to be Secretary General of the Well Control Institute, the uh, board is, uh, issued a uh, request that we take a, a look at the priority topics, topics that were are felt to have very uh, a very strong impact on our business and uh, take those topics and, and meld them down and put them together in, into three or four. Right now we have ten topics that we're calling priority topics that were developed by the board. They originally, the board was originally requested to, to each put some some ideas down, and they did. It started with originally we had 40 topics. We've melted them down to uh, 10, and now we want to put them down to somewhere around three or four. Some of them fit together, so that we can then start working on that. You know, the areas we're looking at, of course, are uh, BOP reliability. Uh, we're looking at human factors, uh, procedural discipline. We're looking at process safety. So, and some of those fit together, process safety, procedural discipline, you know. So we're going to put those together and, and, and submit them to the board for approval uh, of how we, we then take those topics and go forward with, with putting them together. We want to be the well-controlled space in our industry. We want to be the ones that the regulatory people talk to we're, you know, we are expecting something rather soon, and in the word, and in rather soon in Washington, and the regulators' uh, vocabulary is probably not at the same very soon as we would. But uh, we're expecting the well control rule coming out of the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Standards Enforcement, excuse me, Bessie, as we 
we're expecting Bessie to come out with, uh, with those rules, maybe by the, by the end of the year. They have to be approved by the Office of Management and Budget. There's going to be some important issues that come out of there that we want to ensure that uh, are covered right. And, and there's so many issues that, 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 are, that are out there, but one of the key areas we, we think is to make sure that we deal with, the, with things that will give us the best chance of success in, in going through the, the things we do in, in well control. We see that this as being something that of, of, of its time. Mm-hmm. You know, we're four years down the road from Macondo. Uh, we need to step forward and, 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 and push on ahead. We know there's a lot of learnings out there. We, one, of the, one of the key areas, one of the priority topics is how do we share? How do we share learnings? How do we share, share incidents? In my opinion, the you know, human factors are, are probably the most important areas we need to look at. Uh, nothing happens without people. People, for the most part, want to do a good job. But you got to give them the tools. And, you, and, and we have to learn by mistakes. We have to ensure that, that we, and the only way you can learn from those mistakes is to make sure they're communicated. Mm-hmm. And setting up lines of commute, which is another priority topic, uh, communications uh, uh, up and down the spectrum of our business. So I'm very enthused uh, about getting into this. I've, uh, I've been in this business 50 years. I've been with Diamond Offshore for 44 years and its predecessor company. And I've just re- retired on October 15th from Diamond Offshore. So uh, this comes as a timely uh, issue for me in that I'm able to, uh, to work on something that's really been close to my heart for several, for many years. Uh, my whole family has been in this industry. Uh, my dad, my uncles, my brother, my grandfather. Uh, we've been drilling contractors for a long time. This industry has been very good to me personally and to my family. So I, want, I look at this as a swan song on my way out that uh, will help to, to make the business better. Well, Mo, thanks so much and congratulations on your retirement and thank you for your help with the WCI. Thank you, my dear. Thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.